one of the great new features with Metropix is the ability to adjust your planning and get the perfect layout that you need. That can be on a case by case basis, so every floor plan can be different and you can manipulate them as exactly as you'd like them to be. So you draw the whole floor plan on the editor, press the complete button on the top right hand corner, that little tick there. This brings up a preview of the floor plan, so we've got the ground first and then a second floor as well which is labelled as a loft room so you can scroll through. If you had a fourth or a fifth floor you could keep scrolling to see them all. Um, this is just compressed into a smaller view so you can get to see everything in, in a clearer detail and review it. Um, so on the left side we've got a few options here. Um, room dimensions is the first one that's on by default so you can tick this box, this little button and it takes all of the room sizes out in one tap for you. If I click it back on they return off and on. So you've got that full control just by turning the dimensions on and off there. Uh, likewise the colour floor plan works in the same way. So if you click onto the colour, it adjusts it for you there in, in half a second. Off and then back on again. So if you're a colour user with Metropix already you'll know that the process of colour is about a 30-40 second um, all in cycle. So down to half a second now which is fantastic. So a big big time saver there. Just tick that bu button to turn it to colour. Okay, so uh, just on that note, actually, the, the colour floor plans um, will be based on your settings you have. This is a blue template that I have for, for training, but you can have the internal room colours, any colour that you like, your brand colours, or you could use a default Metropix layout where each colour is um, representative of a certain room, so it's all varied and it looks really smart as well. So that will depend on your setting. So there's our colours and our measurements. We now have a bit more control within the plan. We can take the labels on show, so the dining room here, if I drag that label, I can move it anywhere I like in the room. Really, really useful. So you can centralise these. Um, the entrance hall here is the, the best example because it's overlapping with the stairs. Now that would be fine, you could still read it, but just from a, a viewpoint it's probably better just to bring that down slightly. Then it's no longer clashing with the stairs and both of them are, are independent of one another and it's, it's easier to take in. So have a look at those things. You can move those labels as you need them to appear. Um, you can also select certain rooms, so um, if we go with the dining room for example, we can increase the font size of the room, make that 50, um, so you can see it jumps up, so that dining room label is now bigger than the others. You can apply to all, and that adjusts all of the labels on that room. If we go back to another, go to bedroom 2, and increase that to 50 as well, apply to all, and that increases in one go. A few things here, the wardrobes, you can click onto those and take the measurement out entirely. So that becomes just the label. Uh, anything else as well, so that landing area, click onto that, show measurement off, WC, off, en suite, off, so you can go as far as you like, hallway as well. So you've got absolute control over which ones have a label and which ones don't. So increasing the size and, and moving the labels is a, a brilliant new feature that you do have. Um, also, if you wanted to change the measurements, so um, the living room, for example, you click onto it and you've got the width and the length on show. So that should be 4.21 instead. You could just tap in, delete that and change it. It won't affect your floor area and it won't affect your floor plan. So you won't have sudden, suddenly walls jumping out and extending two centimetres further. It will be as you've drawn it. It's just the label inside the room that will change accordingly as so. Uh, once you're happy with it, you can press the complete button on the top right hand corner or next on the left. They both do the same thing. So your preference. And the final view is your floor plan with all of the floors in alignment. So this is a, a template of how it will appear on the final plan. So it's currently in a landscape view. You can change it to portrait by clicking on the left and that will adjust accordingly. Um, equally, you can adjust the, the labels as well. So you can move these around as you need them to be. You could pull that one across or the disclaimer can come lower. This may sit better by coming underneath. Uh, the compass can come in as well. So you can tailor these layouts exactly as you want them to be. This is extremely useful especially when you've got three or more floors and you can be really specific about how you want that layout to, to sit. Uh, once you're happy you should just click finished. Another great thing is our processing time used to be around 30 seconds for a 2D floor plan. Um, we're now down to about four or five. So this is going to come through in a second. And there we go. So there's our finished floor plan in the layout that we've chosen. 
we can then hit download this will then give you the final image which you can then save to your computer and it's high resolution so it's good to go in terms of um, printed brochures as well as your online marketing as well and there's our floor plan so you can see here that you zoom in the quality remains really good there's no noise around the plan so it's ready to use really really good quality um, you've got the floor area on display uh, as well as a disclaimer so if you were to um, draw a floor plan with us that the disclaimer appears automatically it's just saying it's not to scale it's for illustration only um, the appliances haven't been tested so it's very comprehensive looks after you very well uh, and then the label at the bottom so when we've completed the plan there's a property description any text you pop into that box will appear at the bottom like this here with the mate marketed by Metropix estate agents so really really useful lots of brand new functionality available to customize your plan and, and get the perfect layout the the labels as you need them to be in the exact position so you've got that full control um, it looks really good very comfortable to use and especially for the trickier properties when you've got certain layouts with th three or more floors in particular uh, any questions at all feel free to contact us support at metropix.com or you can call the team on 01184 672 800 uh, my name's Steve, thank you for watching and we'll be very pleased to help with any questions that you have.